and welcome. My name is Antoinette and I will be your instructor for this course. This course will be beneficial to an advanced level English speaker looking to improve their skills. I hope that you will have fun doing this course and learning. Are you ready? Let's go! So in this course you will learn better pronunciation, expand your vocabulary and improve your grammar. Just a little bit of motivation before we get started. Even if you have to try one, two or three times, it doesn't matter. Just keep going. You've got this. So a quick overview of what we will be doing in this course. There are a total of nine chapters in this course. Chapter one will be about the workplace. Chapter two, let's listen. Chapter three, our environment. Chapter four, our pets. Chapter five, we will focus on pronunciation. Chapter six, vocabulary and grammar. Chapter 7, shopping. Chapter 8, sports. And chapter 9, the last chapter, vocabulary and pronunciation. So chapter 1, the workplace. As a warm-up exercise, I'm just going to ask you a few questions. There's no right or wrong answer just try to use your best vocabulary and your best pronunciation when answering. What work do you do? What is your dream job? Do you work in an office? What hours do you work? Do you like your work? Well done! Now for our first actual exercise, we are going to be doing a vocabulary exercise. We're going to have a look at all the pictures and then we are going to describe the pictures and what work we think they do. Then we are going to match the words on the right, on the left, to the sentences on the right. Let's start with the pictures. This lady over here is that sitting in front of a laptop or a computer. She is wearing a headset. This lady is a secretary. The next picture, there's a man in front of a clapperboard. This man is an actor. The next picture, there's a man wearing a white coat and an apron. He is carrying a tray with two large pieces of cut meat. This man is a butcher. The next picture, we have a lady and she's wearing a stethoscope as well as a white lab coat. She is listening to the cat's heartbeat. This lady is a veterinarian. Next picture, we have a man walking in a field and there's a tractor. This man is a farmer. Next picture, we have a man wearing protective gear standing in front of a fire. This man is a firefighter. Next picture, we have a man again wearing a white coat and a white hat. He has food in front of him and he's standing in a kitchen. This man is a chef. Over here we have an aeroplane and a lady sitting in front of the aeroplane. This lady is a pilot. Next picture, we have a man standing in front of a blackboard. There are people in front of him sitting in desks and the one is raising their hand. This man is a teacher. Next picture, we have a lady wearing scrubs as well as gloves. She's wearing a face mask and she's shining a light into the patient's mouth. This woman is a dentist. Next picture. We have a lady waving 
from out of a plane. She's wearing very neat clothing. This lady is a flight attendant. We have two men standing here wearing uniforms. This man has a gun. They both have badges. They are police officers. The next picture. This lady is wearing a clean white shirt and an apron. She is carrying a plate or a tray. This lady is a waitress. Next picture. There's a man with a very dirty face. He's standing in front of a car with the hood up and he's working on the engine. This man is a mechanic. Over here we have a person wearing a space suit and a space helmet. This is an astronaut. The picture over here is also wearing a stethoscope with a white lab coat and he's reading a file. This man is a doctor. Last picture, we have a lot of files, we have a laptop and we have a calculator which means it has to do with numbers and sums. This is an accountant. Now let's try to match the words on the left to the sentences on the right. Number one, butcher. That is this man over here. Let's see who that is. And we get to L, someone who cuts meat. Next, two, waiter or waitress. This lady over here. Let's see. F, someone who brings out food at a restaurant. Three, doctor. This man here. Let's see. C, someone who helps sick patients. Four, pilot. This picture here. Let's see. H. Someone who flies airplanes. 5. Flight attendant. This neat lady over here. Let's have a look. G. Someone who helps passengers on an airplane. 6. Dentist. This lady here. Let's have a look. And we go all the way to Q, someone who specializes in teeth. Seven, accountant, over here. Let's have a look. And we go to P, someone who prepares financial information for a company. Eight, teacher, this picture here. And we have a look at all the sentences, J. Someone who educates students. Nine, mechanic. This one over here. A, someone who fixes cars. Ten, farmer. This picture over here. Let's have a look. And that will be M, someone who harvests crops in the outdoors. Eleven, veterinarian. This lady over here with the cat. Let's have a look. I, someone who helps sick animals. 12, firefighter. This man here. Let's have a look. B, someone who puts out fires. 13, police officer. These ones here. And that is D, someone who catches criminals. Next one, 14, secretary, this lady here. Let's have a look. And that is N, someone who answers calls, makes appointments, and maintains paperwork. 15, astronaut, this person here. Let's have a look. K, someone who explores outer space. 16, chef, this man here. Let's see. E, someone who cooks food. Last one, 17, actor, this man here. And that will be O, someone who performs in movies. Well done, good job.